To join us now, Congressman Bill Pascrell. He serves on the House Ways and Means Committee. How do you see the next uh, three weeks proceeding, uh, Congressman? And uh, do you see a way for Democrats and Republicans to work together on, on avoiding another shutdown? Yes, I think once you get over the political hurdles, I think that's possible. We have a conference committee now from the Senate and the House, uh, e equally divided with Democrats and Republicans. I think this will got some good people on there from both sides of the aisle. Uh, I think compromise uh, is in the air. Uh, these shutdowns help nobody. I mean, this shutdown cost the country about $7.2 billion as of January 25th. And it went on beyond that, as you know, a few days. So the whole wall, I mean, the wall down payment was about $5.7 billion. And so the shutdown cost us more than what the president was asking for. Makes no sense. I think the legislation that'll be before us to get rid of all of these shutdowns because they're used as political um, sabotage, I believe, uh, so that you can face your opponent and debate him and, and have a compromise. And I think this is what we need right now in our country. Hey, Congressman, how should we look at that, the, you know, that it costs $7 billion and, it, and we were only talking about five. Well, the last... I mean, should we say, gosh, I, I mean, the Democrats, you might as well have just done it and just give it to them, or do we just blame him no, no matter what? what? <laughs> I mean, uh, we could have used the seven for that. I mean, no one thinks that, that we don't need border security. Democrats are not going to give anything to anybody. <laughs> we're going to have a solid budget. We want to protect America. You know, this notion about Democrats like open borders is absolute nonsense. I was on Homeland Security. I was on the original committee when President Bush was the president of the United States. We had Democrats and Republicans who were devoted and committed to protecting this nation. We thought about our borders. And by the way, we don't only have one border. Hello? We have many borders, and they need to be protected. I've never seen a terrorist come in from the southern part uh, of our bo that border of Mexico. We've had problems coming across the Canadian border. Just look at our history. So this is total nonsense. We need an immigration package. We had one several years ago when Democrats and Republicans came together in the Senate. And the House didn't have the guts to bring it up, the leadership in the House. So I believe that this has to be a total package. Whether we can get some conceptual agreements between now and three weeks from now, your guess is as good as mine. But I know there are good people who are trying to put that together. And I'm very proud of my country and moving forward. We're not going to go backwards. We're never going to go backwards. And that is what I believe. Hey, Bill, where, uh, what about the State of the Union? Are you hearing anything about is uh, Speaker Pelosi going to... I believe it will be day? decided within the next 10 days. And the president will give the State of the Union uh, as is expected. Uh, I believe the shutdown of the government did not really wasn't conducive to that. I think, the, I think in, my, in my mind, that the, the uh, speaker made the right decision on that particular matter. I support her on that particular matter. But so we'll know in 10 days that there won't be. I'm we'll sorry? Know, we'll know in 10 days when it's going to be, but it won't be, it, it won't be given in 10 days. I, I think it will be, be given. It'll within be given 10 in days. 10 days. Uh, that's what I really think. Can I ask you about um, what's going on with, for 2020? Um, you saw the, the news from Howard Schultz. Uh, how, how do most. Democrats look at, uh, at, at whether Mr. Schultz should run as, as an independent. Well, look, we're going to have, we're going to go through what Republicans went through in 2016. You're going to have probably more candidates than they had. Uh, you know, there are people, there are good people. Every, every name that I've heard and every person that I've heard speak uh, gives me hope uh, for 2020, not only for Democrats, but for the entire nation. Got some really great people, some good names. Some are a lot more independent than others. That's the nature of the beast. That's politics. Can they gather support from the rank and file and the base? That's another question. And uh, what's your message going to be? And I believe it's interesting that everyone is trying to get their own, their, their own little space, so to speak, uh, during this campaign. So they'll have something to campaign on with, their, with there being so many candidates. Independent candidates are welcome as well. This is a Democratic Party. And, you know, you agree to disagree. 
and then you disagree to agree later on. So nothing changes in the Democratic Party along those lines. So, Congressman, I don't know whether I believe, uh, you know, everybody's racing to the left, obviously. Um, I don't know. know about that. Okay, well, uh, uh, Kamala Harris, who a lot of people say is the front runner right now. I don't know whether you believe it. It's awfully early. Well, there's early. some polls that say that, okay. yes. Well, okay, so Medicare for all, uh, preschool for all, debt-free college for all. Who's going to pay for this? I don't know. <laughs> I think, I that's, know. I think okay. that's a good question. I think Democrats have to stand up to it. We have a deficit which is crippling investment in many areas. We need to understand this. And the very people who are supposedly the the conservatives and uh, the, the people who are going to watch every dime and nickel uh, have really spent like, and I don't want to make sailors culpable, but like drunken sailors. <laughs> uh, this administration uh, has no idea of what it's doing and adding to the deficit. Uh, the $7.2 billion that we lost during the shutdown just adds to the mess. Um, we, need to, we need to face up to it. We're not going to face up to it, Democrats, in cutting Medi uh, Medicare or Social Security. That's not how we're going to do it. But we need to face up to it. We can't walk away with it. That's and when it. you have Medicaid for all, Medicare for all, and I think we're going to move in that direction, we're not there yet. We let's can't the, afford it at this particular time, let's but say, we'll have a debate about it. Let's say you find an old lamp in your house and you rub it and, and a gen genie comes out and you get to pick your wishes who runs uh who's your your nominee democratic nominee who, who, what's your dream ticket right now bill wow <laughs> well i love joe biden everybody loves joe biden and you know what sometimes you love people and they're not smart joe biden is smart he's done it he's been there i have confidence in him but I have confidence in a lot of the other candidates. You asked me who, if I had to pick today. Bernie polls well, too. What about Bernie? You I'm think not a Bernie a person. I like no. Bernie. I debated him in China once uh, on natural law. I'll never forget this. Uh, and uh, I think Bernie had a shot. And, uh, hey, he's welcome to run just like anyone else. I respect him for his acumen on politics. I respect him for respecting other people. Uh, I think he had his turn. I, I can hear some some common sense in in a lot of the stuff you talk about, Congressman. I think it's from the area. You're God from. forbid. <laughs> well, I know. Well, you, you, you were mayor of Patterson, right? Yes, sir. I was a ma mayor of Patterson, great city, uh, yeah. for seven years before I was elected to the Congress. I served in a state legislature. About 30 percent of those people who are in Congress right now have served in some form of local government, be it a mayor, council, uh, board of education, et cetera. And I think that's a healthy kind of thing. Those local politics will never leave you because you're always, you have no time to hide behind a desk or hide under the desk. You gotta make the decisions. Instead of, you know, the Congress moves at a pace which, you know, puts you to sleep many times. And this shutdown just put us behind in all the work that we need to be doing. Not simply because the Democrats and we've taken over the House of Representatives but because the, me, the, the country needs certain things, whether it's health care, uh, whether it's trying to deal with the deficit, whether it's trying to deal with the crazy tax bill that was passed of December of a year ago, uh, we have a lot of problems to address. We don't have the time to mess around. I just wonder, uh, and, and there are some, obviously, with the unemployment rate and GDP, and you know, there are a lot of, of positive things. A lot happening. of positive in, things. In spite, maybe it, you, in your view, it's in spite of President Trump, but uh, you know, there are some positive. Well, things. I think you know. Look, how much does a president have to do with whether things go up or down uh, is debatable. Uh, well, I, regulation, you, I don't think I, you can I deny it. I think that the, I think that the president and his team have done some good things on yeah. on the economy. But I think that I think President Obama, who brought us from the the cliff, the edge of the cliff, we, don't we, forget when he became the president of the United States, what the what the economy was like. Right. Hey, just let me because we got to run. But if. I don't know where the geographic center of the Democratic Party is right now, and I, I don't know whether you do. I don't know if it can be brought back or not. But if you had a far left main, if you had a far left candidate get the the party's nod, and then you had Howard Schultz, I, that just seems like a. I think there's a lot of Democrats already saying. Or how that, about that, the that mayor just, of New York? 
former mayor of New York. He might run too, but is it a Ross Perot situation where it takes away from the, the, the Democrats and it ends up reelecting Donald Trump? I mean, I, I see well, that being written right now. Well, you, you could be a pundit about this kind of thing, but remember, yeah. this is the Democratic Party, as Will Roger said. So expect anything and <laughs> you'll be able not to anticipate okay. everything. So. All right, Congressman. Anyway, uh, thank you. We, we appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon. Honor to talk to you. Thank okay. you.